own blood but is joined by emotion care trust feelings etc who were strangers once and now they have become an important part of our life friendship is one of the treasures that anyone can possess but getting a true friend in this generation is really difficult god gave us the right to choose friends as they are going to be with us forever our parents and siblings loves us unconditionally as they are our own blood but a stranger who loves the way like our parents do is a little bit unexpected and we go deeper into the friendship that friend has taken all the relation over friendship is nothing but a true or pure form of love without expecting any now i have one more question for you guys what does the true friend actually mean a true friend is the one who always helps you in the situation and will definitely gonna scold you if you are wrong their love is unconditional after mother the one who came into your life is your best friend who guides you who cares for you who advises you who who tells you that this is your mistake and you have to apologize for it but we know that future is unpredictable life changes every moment like that some misunderstanding develops between two best friends because of some third person or any other reason god says that if ever distance arises in your friendship just never friend never let your friendship go hold his or her hand and apologize for the mistake that you have done and if you have not done still apologize for it because there is no more pathetic situation than losing a best friend at last i just conclude my speech by saying that friendship is the most difficult thing to come across we we should appreciate the divine relationship and the friendship who is with you on the basis of trust feelings care emotion etc we do not need any friendship day to thank our best friend every day every moment is a friendship day for us remember friendship is the only thing that heals your heart and makes you the most luckiest person in this world thank you so much